Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k nightfall run. Now that is the point of the video, help you get your plus two pretty easily, your plus two pinnacle. But the main point really is showing you how to farm for this. This is the Reckless Endangerment. It's this this season's seasonal weapon that you can earn from either Vanguard, Gambit or Crucible. You've got to hit Mythic 3 or level 16 to get it. Can be a little bit of a troll sometimes, a little bit of a grind. Uh... But with this, this run and this week, it's really easy to get. Now, I think this is going to be a really good weapon, especially in Crucible. But I definitely feel like this is going to have its place everywhere. So it's worth worth trying to get it, get it out of the way at the start of the season. But you can also drop Silicon Neuroma this, this week. Now, this is going to be very good in coming seasons. That intrinsic perk there, Stun and Recovery, could be very, very good in, pre in seasons to come. I don't think it's going to be very good this season, but if you do get a good roll, could be good everywhere. So, it's a very easy run. I think I got this down to about, I eventually got it down to about 18 and a half minutes uh, on the solo run. I am doing it on Legend 1550, so I think, I think a lot of people are going to be around that area. So, my setup is I'm going to use, be using the Perez D Scout Rifle. I've had a lot of fun with this. This is brilliant for champions because of this, because of the uh, Hacky Breach Armaments. Now, they do damage, increase damage to vehicles, turrets, barricades, and stasis crystals, so you take the last one out. And this is perfect for a Nightfall run. Explosive Payload doesn't doesn't hurt either. I'm going to be using the Glaive. Now, my... I like the Glaive because it's it's a really powerful close combat weapon with mid-range to the edge of close, halfway through mid-range firing capabilities. But if it doesn't have any ammo, it's still as strong. So I have Impulse Amplifier and Frenzy, which does work with the melee side of it. And obviously Cycle Hack, sustained damage from this weapon loans the tar target's damage output for a short period. Really, really good. I'm going to be using the Galahom. There's a reason why I'm using the Galahom. I think most people will have this by now. If you don't, there, there's that is exactly what you can use. The Pal Palmyra B. I've got lasting impression. I would like auto load and holster. Once I've tested enough of them and I can build one, that's what I'm going to be going for. Because it's got hacky breach armaments. And the way we're going to be setting our, our character up, that is going to be even stronger. Two rockets from this will take a tank down on, on a 1550 on a activity easily. So they both, the, the scout rifle and, and the, the alternate rocket launcher I show you, both buy into this. Psionic Forging 2, it increases the effect of the Hacky Breach Armaments uh, trait. So it does even more damage against tanks and shields and turrets. Rocket launcher, ammo finder, why wouldn't you? I, I have got Well of Tenacity on. I'm not really going to be making a lot of wells. This was from a previous build because I felt like the weapons are going to be enough for this. I didn't feel like I had to go through a really intricate build of, you know, you need to make wells or you, you need to, get, you know, charge for light. Just stand where you need to stand and shoot what's in front of you. That is going to be, that's how easy this run is. Anti-Barrier Scout, Unstoppable Glaive. Now I've got, now I've got on here, you don't need to have this. I just had it because I want to be moving as fast as possible. But it does, the, the, this this uh, Powerful Friends, you need to have an Arc a mod on for this, for, to get the secondary perk, which is actually what we want it for, which is the plus 20 mobility. It doesn't work with thermal shock plating because it's not an arc mod. It's it's an arc and solar mod. So I've put an arc resistance mod on as well. What that's really good for is there's, there's a lot of arc. So why wouldn't you have that on? I'm using the Orpheus rig. Uh, any super will do if you've got a one, one hit bang. So if you're doing this on the Warlock, uh, Slover will be, be good enough. If you're doing this on the Titan, uh, I probably would go with Middle Tree uh, Striker, the 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 big thunder thunder crash with maybe the the exotic chest plate that makes it more powerful. Uh, but but the Orpheus rig on the Titan, the Hunter adds. I'm pretty sure you guys will be aware. I'm using Mobius Quiver, so this this does a lot more. 
you know, it does a lot more damage because you get another shot. So it's 33% extra damage or whatever. Uh, 50% extra damage. Uh, Glaive Scavenger, Rocket Launcher Scavenger. And to finish off the build, we're going with Lucent. Now, we're going with Lucent Finisher because we're going to be expelling quite a few rockets. Because the reason I went with the Galahorn over the Palmyra D is you've got this new perk in Nightfalls, which is uh, Acute Burn. So this week, it's you take 50% more, more solar damage, but you output 25% more on your solar. So the Galahorn's going to be destroying things. Defeating a Lucent Hive Lightbearer or a champion with your finisher spawns heavy ammo for you and your allies. So you have predictable ways to get heavy ammo. That's the setup. Now let's get on with the run. As soon as you enter the actual room, you're going to be greeted with two champions. One is a barrier, one is uh, unstoppable. What I like to do is take out the barrier real quick and then I'm going to use the the Lucent finisher uh, to get, get my rocket back basically off the unstoppable. Now you will have a couple of uh, Scions and Incendiars, but the Galahorn normally will take care of most of them. You might have one one left up. So reload before you go back outside because you're going to be taking out the ship straight away. Uh, there's going to be a ship round to the right. You're going to get a whole bunch of ads. On, on Legend, you won't have a champion here. You will have a, a big heavy yellow, bo yellow bar. So uh, we'll take him out before he can actually get shots on us. I just normally place a rocket uh, down where all the ads are going to spawn in, get rid of them real quick, and then you're going to have these uh, elite kind of elite cabal legionaries, honoured legionaries as they're called. Uh, take 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 them out, and then I fire a rocket behind that box, and you'll see coming up on the screen that is the illicit. That's the big dude. That's the illicit slug shooter. And then that, that's all your immediate enemies taken care of, the ones that are going to push up onto the platform you're on. We'll just take these last couple here, and then you're going to get another wave. Nothing too, too extravagant here. You've still got snipers over on the other side. There we go, that's them gone. Uh, so I'm just going to burn another rocket here and try and clear a few of them. For some reason, my wolf pack, pff, no clue where it went. Uh, I have, because I've been farming this, and the point of this video is not just to get your plus two uh, reward, it's also to farm for the shotgun, as I said in the beginning, uh, just in case you skip the beginning just to come to the run. This is an 18 and a half minute run, perfect for farming. I think this took me maybe about two hours solo, and I had the shotgun, because double, double Vanguard rewards. And it's not, as long as you come in, you don't. You can go to the tower. You can do stuff like that. As long as you don't start another activity, you build up your multiplier so you get more uh, Vanguard XP on completions. So take out the three dogs, and you're going to have a barrier. Sometimes the barrier upon hitting him, he didn't this time, but sometimes upon hitting him, he just puts his bar, bar his barrier up straight away, which is why I switched immediately to my scout rifle. So you're going to have the ship. As long as you've got your solar charge with you, as soon as you take the champion out, the ship will appear. If you don't have the solar charge, then he won't appear. 99% of the time, you'll drop a brick of heavy here. The the heavy seems to be, ammo drops seem to be based, you know, they drop from almost the same places. Sometimes you'll get a little bit more from places, but from what I've worked out, I seem to drop... Uh, ammo from exactly the same places so just about sometimes you drop them from different places as i'm saying so i put a rocket in that doorway and cleared the scions and, and the two phalanxes i want to take this uh, uh this uh honored legion and then i'm going to push up on the unstoppable you'll see there he kind of starts to glow a little bit the reason why he's glowing is because a we've got cycle hack on him and that that makes him glow to let you know he's taking more damage and obviously frenzy was propped a frenzy is i think you've got to be in combat for 12 seconds that's either shooting or being shot at for 12 seconds if you can do that your whatever you've got with frenzy will start to do i can't remember it's 20 or 30 percent more damage 
The reason I fired a rocket at those cabals is because I had a brick up top. I want to believe in this area with as close to max ammo as I can. Now, obviously, not going to do that all the time. So it's not a big deal if you're like only got five or six. And again, if you wanted to put on rocket launcher reserves, I don't really think there's any need for it because of the lucent finisher, but you can do that as well. When you get here, you're going to have a couple of cabal that are going to be up on the same platform as you. Take them out, and then two ships are going to push you. Take the ships out. We need to kill everything. So there's the first ship. Second ship, and then we're going to reload and take the third ship out. He'll be over the back. And then reload, and then we're going to push over. We're going to have to take all the ads on the bridge as well. So we'll take these cabal below the bridge first. So there's a couple here, there's a gladiator, uh, and sometimes a phalanx to the right. Uh, there'll always be a gladiator. And sometimes it'll just be a, a legionary, so just we just had the legionary that time. And there we go, that's that's them taken out. Now, these are the only arc shielded ads in this, this uh, section. So the Galahorn doesn't care about shields he couldn't care less about shields which i love but it didn't in d1 either uh it didn't matter what the burn was because galahorn was my baby uh we just called it galaburn anyway so i've only got one rocket left so you'll see here just gonna put that grenade down which weakens them the the actual shooting mechanic the firing mechanic on the glaive does really really good damage against against shields so you've got a sniper left and a sniper right now what we're doing here you will have to do this sometimes but sometimes you'll have enough heavy on lying about on the ground that you don't have to finish this champion i don't so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get him to fire at me that side and that gets some it really, it really takes his, his attention away. Come round here, break his shield, and then same as the Unstoppables, we're just going to get him low and then finish him, and then that gets us with full heavy. He actually dropped two bricks. Destiny being being, being uh, charitable there, which doesn't happen very often. That's that section done. We've killed everything. We've got 44,000. Now, as, as you know, we're going for the 100,000 as well, which is kind of also the part, point of this video. So... Like I keep saying, we have to kill everything, which is why we came up the ramp the way we did. We're going to take this first tank out. Now, I said this in my Vox Obscura uh, uh, guide. If you didn't watch the guide, you maybe should go back. It's it's a pretty good guide, I think. Uh, I will put a, a hunter guide out for it, as I said during that first video. Aim for the legs. It does, it don't don't just don't just you know aim for any part of the tank. Aim for the legs and two you know the the the. Tanks take more damage from, on the legs. So I'm going to fire my super here. And take out anything I can. Because really, I mean, if you were on your warlock, you could you could throw an over there. It's now Before anybody says, oh, what, what do I do if I'm on a titan? What do I do if I'm on a warlock? Actually, I, I sometimes don't even bother firing my super there. Sometimes I just take the ads out like this. There's no need to, you know, that's it's not an intrinsic part of of the the run. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Take, I fired a shot there at that champion. I'm not really. I could go up and finish him, but I've got a brick. I could have went up and just farmed him. There was no point. No need to do it. So that's the champion down. It took out. It took out the. The Centurion as well, because Centurion solar shielded, so it took the Centurion out as well. We're also here, up to this point, so we've took all the champions, took all the ads, we're going to bring the second tank down. We need two rockets. Three would be nice, but we only need two rockets at this point, because we, all we need to do is take out the champion, of which there are two of them, and that will give us heavy. So we only need two rockets to take the tank. After that, we'll be able to generate heavy from the Lucent finisher. So, again, we're going to aim at both legs. There we go. That takes the other adds there. We're going to have a Void shielded incendiary. So, we'll break the shield and just kill him with the kill him with the, the glaive. Now, that's the first. I, I, I decided 
because both of them were coming. Sometimes I finish both of them. I finish one. I like I stagger the finishes. I finish one, then I leave it a second. I finish the other one, and then I finish the first one that I fit. You know, stagger stagger them so that when one's up, one's active, the other one's finished. And you have to set that up by finishing one, leaving it a second, finishing the other one, and then finishing the first one, uh, stunning the first one again. So the dogs, we've took out everything here. The dogs are going to spawn, and I normally, and I factor this into the run, I normally get a brick from the dogs. Bricks, how much you get from them is... Uh, random sometimes you'll only get two sometimes you'll get four but it's nearly always two or three you get so plan for two hope for three uh and be thankful if you get four if you get four clip that <laughs> clip that and put that on some social media somewhere because people just won't believe you so we've got six rockets we've got two champions in here now the key to getting the boss to move to keep moving is the turrets the minute you take the turrets on one of the the gangways the, the the boss will move. So I always come up top and I take these ads because sometimes the unstoppable decides to not go down. Sometimes the unstoppable comes up straight at me. So I'll take out these turrets and you'll see once I take the other turret, I'm just looking for, for all the turrets. There's one over there. There's one to the far left. I can't take it because the champion is pushing me. I am going to finish the champion. We're kind of safe here anyway. Uh, we'll take the champion, we'll leave the heavy because I've got six. And I'll take that last turret, which means the boss will move to the next. See him there, that's him off. So the key to getting the boss to, to get out of here to maybe one less person shooting at you is take out the, the turrets. So I'm going to leave that brick there. Now because we've got anti-barrier and we've got the psionic forging uh, two on, we're going to really be able to melt these these shielded guys behind their shields. Now, if you aim for where their head is and get crits, again, you'll be able to take them out fast. You see, I'm just getting yellow numbers on them, and you really can get a melt on them. Again, let me take the turrets, but we've got a barrier champion over, over here. There's the boss gone. He went, actually, before I took all the, the Scorpius turrets out, which is cool. So... I'm just going to kind of thin the herd here, take out some of the red bar ads. We know that the champion's about somewhere. Now, what I normally do here is just fire a rocket at him, but he decided to run, so I've gone up top. just going to check out where he's going to go, make sure my scouts... Look. There he is. So I am going to put a rocket on him, and here I think he actually did put shield up. Yep. And then easy melt. Couple of red bar line about. If if there are, you can choose what you want to do with them. You can you can either shoot them with a scout or you can go down with a glaive. Six and a half a dozen. I've got tons of heavy. I could have just fired heavy at everything. But we've took out the last honored like legionary. There are no enemies left in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the drop pod from this side. And the reason why is because one of these is more than likely going to drop heavy for me. And I want the heavy to stay on the lift. So there you can see on the edge there I've got heavy ammo. I've been lucky sometimes. Sometimes I've had two bricks drop on here so I can go a little bit crazy on the boss. The idea here now, because we're going to have to kill all the ads as I keep saying. We're going to have to get the boss to go up top and shield immediately and how we'll do that is we need to get him under his first health bar so he's almost there one more should do it there we go take out the turrets and then you're going to get a whole bunch of ads just put a couple more on the boss just to ensure that he's not going to go up. if you don't he'll go up on his platform and he'll try and snipe you the whole time i'm going to look for this Centurion, that's a Centurion down because he's solar shielded and it's just easier. There will be another Centurion. Uh, we'll just take out these ads around us. Easy money. Now we'll look for the second Centurion. There he is. And because I've got a few rockets, I'll just take him nice and easily. And we'll take that ship. We've got to take the ships as well. There'll be a, one of the, there'll be a Thresher. That's what the ships are called. There'll be a Thresher. 
uh, with each wave of ads. Oh, and we dropped another brick. We are really good for heavy. So now we're going to go and get this unstable core because th this is the legitimate way to do this. There is a cheese for doing this, but you won't get the 100k on legend doing the cheese. And I did think about doing it on master because it's not too difficult to do on master either. Uh, but I figure that the majority of people who are wanting to farm this won't really be able to do the, the, the 1580 as efficiently as they could do the 1550. So I wanted to just show you guys a way that you could get your reward and farm for a silicon neuroma and the, the shotgun uh, really, really easily. I mean, that reckless endangerment looks like it's going to be the thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, just taking out this. Uh, I want to keep as much of my heavy as I can because I'm going to have to put a heap on them here. Normally, one of these guys drops heavy for me, but they didn't. There's enough ads coming in that uh, I should I should get more heavy. So I'm going to throw a grenade. You can do that on any character because it will weaken. And I'm going to put a couple of rockets on them. We really need to get them below his next health bar. So let's have a look. Yep, there we go. He's He's definitely... The shield's already come up. I need to keep one rocket. Because we've got another thresher, and we need the other thresher for the score. So there's the thresher there. Just put a rocket on him. And you'll see here, there's so many dogs that are going to push us that would, you know, you can't, there's no way you're not going to get heavy. So I kind of just stay here, and as I say, the melee is brilliant. You know, you don't have to use any ammo. You can see that centurion. Go back up. Are there any dogs? As you've already seen, I don't have any ammo, which is cool because, you know, the melee attacks for this, uh, for the glaive are, are really, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get some special. This was the first time I actually ran out of ammo in all of these runs. So I could, if I wanted, I could have, uh, there we go, we've got, we've got glaive ammo. I could have, if I'd have wanted, see there how, how easily it just melts them. I could, I could have just fired a rocket. Could have fired a rocket because I'm hopeful that I will get another brick at least before the end. And we'll just take out the rest of these guys. And then, then we're going to go for the unstable core. So I've kept two, I, I, I was keeping heavy. In the off chance that I didn't get any and I could maybe put a couple of rockets on the boss before we we, we we kill him with a super. Because I'm trying to think, when I do runs like this, if I do a, a hunter run or I do a titan run, I try and think of it. There's heavy, we just seen heavy drop there, so now I can actually use uh, a rocket on this centurion. I try and think of it in terms of what would the other characters need. So hence why a lot of GMs, a lot of solo GMs, when it's a hunter, it's just go invisible all the time. That's why I don't do a solo GMs. When when that's the strategy, I think, well, that's cool, but how are you doing that on a Titan? How are you doing it on a Warlock? Because not everybody plays all three characters or they main a certain character. So I uh, I always try and do my runs with the other uh with the other classes in mind. So we've got a heap of heavy. I'm going to pick this up now. So I've probably got five, maybe six, which we're not going to need. But so dunk that. Look at, look at the score. We've got the 100k. We just need to kill the boss. So I'm going to move out the way. There he is. I'm going to throw the grenade, hit him with a rocket. Stunned. I'm going to hit him with another rocket. Wait for him to move and then melt. Now, you would have killed him there with any of the supers that I mentioned at the start. But uh, as you can see there, you get 675 Vanguard points. I ended up, I think, getting 1,300 Vanguard points. As long as you don't start another activity, you're fine. And that is it, guys. I have had, as you've seen in, at the start video, I've got a Silicon Neuroma. I've got the shotgun. Good luck farming yours. It's a very easy run. Take it easy, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.